Today we've got Lord of the Rings, an absurdly amazing art style, full metal jacket, and a lot more. If MTG Altars are your thing, the only better place to be than right here is the official MTG Altered Art Facebook group. Links to that, this series playlist, and all the artists showcased today will be in the description. Hope you enjoy the video, and if you do, give a click to our thumbs up artist button, Steven. Looking very professional, Steven. Nice work. We'll begin with this striking Eternal Witness altar from Rocky Altars. I'm always on the lookout for unique altar designs, and this art style is almost mesmerizing and so powerful. The greens are almost aggressive with swirls and shades, almost like the art is flowing into itself. It's really hard to explain. Also love the faces sort of melding into each other and all the random appearances of different textures throughout. I don't know what it is about this art style, but it really hits me hard. Rocky's Deathrite Shaman goes a step further and adds more color to the chaotic nature of the art style. How fantastic is this? The skull in its hand with the bright blue shade where the eyes should be. The staff that is almost translucent in places to the face and the eyes of the shaman itself. The longer I look at this, the more interesting details I find. Look at the bottom border of the card. Feels like waves coming up the card and all those greens and blues and browns. What a complex art style. I'm honestly blown away. Next up is AKAR and this phenomenal homage to the Full Metal Jacket movie poster. What an absolute knockout. And on Skull Clamp, such a fitting card to put this on. AKA nailed it here. The art style is bang on to the movie poster. The white background contrasted with red depicting blood, I'm assuming, considering the reference material. A powerful altar on a powerful card depicting a powerful film. I love this piece. AKA second piece of the day is this drop dead gorgeous Lord of the Rings altar on a soul ring. I've seen a lot of the one ring on a soul ring altars in my day, but this is one of the better ones, mainly because AKA creates some legitimate depth in the piece. The shadowing's great, the lines on the ring so nice, and you gotta love the Elvish script on the ring itself. And then there's a little bit of glare at the top of the ring, great touch there, adds some realism. I'm a fan. Jom Alters brings us this dark depths and a unique art style that I really love. I can't explain why I enjoy seeing wood huts painted in this way, but I really do. This style lends itself really well to this kind of art. From the snow to the ice to the wood to the sky with the snow and the wind blowing, it creates a real atmosphere. Oh my goodness, then we have Merit Lage, still a great art style, but wow, this scares the crap out of me. Look at all those teeth, it's unsettling. You know, this piece in Dark Depths look like they, um, let's put them together. Oh, so sick, what a great two-card altar. Merit Lage coming out of nightmares to demolish this poor little village. Is it a sad story? Yes. But it's also really well painted. Got a lot of unique art styles in this episode. Awesome stuff. Let me know what kind of altars you want to see in the future, and I'll do my best to round up the best of the best for you. The community is large and super talented. Links in the description to the MTG Altered Art Facebook group where you can literally see everything beautiful all the time, as well as each artist's personal page. Go let them know how awesome they are, and as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.